Well, hello, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Leo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you today. I am going to start with some oracles, all right? Um, and we're going to see. At the bottom of the deck, deck, um, deck, you do have success, all right? So I want to see what this means. You have two cards here. I'm just going to use these two. Fragmented and success or fragment. Let's get fragment. You know, that's kind of scattered energy, feeling scattered. Fragmented is number 15. And this is what it says. When you get this symbol, it reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important. If the one you're asking about seems confusing in any area, so any area of your life that seems confusing, love, money, or whatever, it says focus on the one that brings you clarity, okay? So if money is the thing that brings you clarity, try to figure out ways to, you know, make something work with that. If it's love, you know, maybe it's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, it also says remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. So don't get too frazzled, calm down, take a breather. It says you may look, you may be looking at one piece of the puzzle instead of seeing the giant picture. See the big picture through my eyes or through the eyes of the universe. And no matter what, all is going to be well. So, I mean, looking at fragmented, it just basically lets me know that for a lot of you, you're in this energy of feeling a little scattered, a little frustrated about some things, but everything is going to be, like it says, all well, okay? Um you part of that meaning was it says sometimes it seems that life is split into so many different aspects into two, so many different parts that it's difficult to bring things together or for things to actually come together and this is what i was saying it, it doesn't even have to be in just one area it could be in love it could be with you know uh, money and it's like both areas are frustrating so just remember take a step back and breathe now here with success, let's get to success. So and you see success is here. So you know you're going to have it, right? Even though there's some frustration. So let's go ahead, 39. It says you're going to celebrate for all the achievements that you're going to accomplish. This is what it says. Accomplishments are yours now. And you are in a position to reap the rewards of your hard work. And if not right now, you will. This symbol of success reminds you that hard work pays off. Being true to yourself and refusing to compromise will yield good things. Now, why is this important? Because let's say if this has something to do with a relationship issue or problem. One thing that I will say is that if you stand your ground, you're going to be successful. Even if you don't get that person, you're going to get what you want, even if it's in a different way. You see what I'm saying? So that's basically what it's saying. Choosing this card is a wondrous, wonderful sign that all is well in your life or it will be. This symbol requires you to keep working, it says, and gain knowledge. Now it's not the time for slacking off, but keep going and celebrate the small victories in between. Be proud of yourself because the universe is proud of you. So, you know, just some messages that you guys may need to hear um, right now, I mean, because you could be going through a difficult time. So good messages that you guys need to hear right now. Let's go ahead. Let's get some more messages here for you, Leo. This is for Leo. Let's see what's going to come out here for Leo. Leo. One more. All right. So Leo. At the bottom of the deck, I have all that was lost will be restored. New hope and a new way of life is coming. So you see what I'm saying? This energy of frustration and feeling like things are falling apart. The universe is constantly reassuring you that things are going to be amazing. Things are going to get so much better for you. Here, another card says a new business opportunity will present itself and could require traveling. So be prepared for some changes. So this could be business opportunities. This could be a new job, okay? Where some of you, you may not even be in the same state, okay? So you may not even think about it, but that's what it's saying. And even if it's not that drastic, there could be some type of new, uh, new um, something dealing with your work, raise, uh, something like that that's going to come up. 
Um, but it's telling you here, it says you're going to have to learn to adapt to changes because that's what you're going to be facing. Um, it says the biggest mistake that you can make is relying on outdated beliefs about what you can and can't do. Okay. So for you, it's going to be time for you to think outside the box. That's just really what it is because change is inevitable in your reading. I do feel like for some of you, you've been cooped up in the house or some of you, you know, maybe that's the energy that you're feeling. There is going to be some time where you can go out, relax and have fun. I am saying that. Hello. <laughs> uh, but it's part of your success that you're going to experience. So let's go ahead. I just fell over here for you. Yeah. Honor and respect will come to you. So I see just in general, a lot of recognition here for you, Leo. Let's see what else comes out. Split the deck and it says going out, having a good time. Exactly. Then feeling scattered and sad, <laughs> you're going to be able to go out and have fun. Okay, eventually, or to relax, basically. Climbing towards success. Yes. What else is here? And something could happen in July. Maybe a romance. You guys do have romances in the air. So if you don't have anyone right now, there is surely a romance coming in here for you soon. Let's get one more card here for you. Yeah. And I'm still seeing a lot of traveling here. I keep seeing the word travel or it could be relocation with your home. Last one. It says you will be shown the way. So if you guys are uncertain about life, if there's some things that you guys are uncertain about, you are going to know exactly where to move, where to go, what to do. OK, you guys are going to know um, how to proceed. OK, that's what's happening here. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. This is going to be for Leo. Split the deck, seven of cups, a lot of opportunities coming in here for you. Definitely with romance, I mean, with with finances, because we saw that earlier, and definitely with romance as well, okay? Right now, you may be on a pause, maybe healing for some things, uh, but I'm definitely seeing that it's, it's about to, you know, start moving for you in a good direction. You have judgment, and you have, wow, the Knight of Wands. This is someone that you guys most likely cut off in the past here who wants to come back in here. Um, for some of you, this is going to be someone new that you're going to come across. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you, if you have not been talking to anyone, you know, the first person that you come across is not going to be as kosher as you want them to be. There are, there's going to be behavior issues. There's going to be inconsistencies. And some of you may have a tendency to drop your guard towards this person. So the queen of swords is like, no, make sure you maintain strong boundaries with them. Because even though that there's a behavior issue, it's not saying that it can't work. It's just saying that you have to put up strong boundaries. Otherwise, this person will take advantage of you. Now, this could be with anyone. To be completely honest with you, this could be with whoever. But this is what I'm saying. For a lot of you, this is someone that you know from the past, unfortunately, okay, who you cut away, who wants to come back in here. Hmm. Hierophant. This person could, for some of you, could be in a relationship and you don't know. Or you could be in a relationship with this person. If you are in a committed relationship right now, you know, some there are some problems in your, your relationship, in your connection. I do see an ending here. I mean, we can kind of see why. Because I do feel like, like I said before, it's inconsistent behavior, selfish energy here from someone that you're around. Maybe at one point you may think that this person was a soulmate or you did think that this was a person that you were supposed to be with your whole life, but you feel alone in your own connection. You feel very frustrated. There's been a lot of frustration here. This is the reason why Fragmented came out in your reading. Romance is not right. Your money may not be right for some of you. Some of you guys are losing hope, losing faith that things are going to change. But this is the reason why we saw success, because it's letting you know that things are going to change for you. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for uh, Leo. Mm, speaking of which, yeah, Ten of Wands, something that's burdensome is going to get put down. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to, this is very unfortunate because it's just letting me know that you haven't met your person yet. And even if you're in a relationship, you feel like you're in a relationship by yourself. It feels very dead in and most likely it may not go anywhere. Even if you're in the long term, you may be like, oh, my God, this is not deep enough. Something's going wrong. We're not even close the way we used to be close. 
So this is why Seven of Cups is coming out because there's going to be other opportunities and other things that are going to be presented to, to you, okay? Um, as far as um, money, again, success is here. So I totally see that happening for you. But you know what? I'm interested. I want to see what's going on with that Knight of Wands, the Death card, and the Lovers. So let's go ahead and get it. Knight of Wands. Yeah, very sexual connection here. I feel like, you know, this person is going to move very quickly for some of you. If this person is new, watch out. Tell them to slow down because this feels very sexual and very, um, you know, very, very sex driven. They're not going to give you what you want in the beginning or at, the, at right now at all. Yeah, this is for a lot of you, someone new that you're going to meet. I should have just put the Ace of Cups there, but I'm not going to put anything there. But it looks like this is for someone that you guys are going to be meeting or someone who wants to rekindle. Let's go ahead. But how is it going to end ultimately? It's going to, I mean, how is it going to turn out? It looks like it's going to be a change or an ending because someone is, again, very selfish and only concerned about their needs. Let's get the death card. Yeah, so I am seeing here, um, you know, Leo, that there is something that's going to get, it's just going to end. For some of you, um, there could be some kind of loss that you could experience as well here. I don't know what kind of loss. Yeah, I feel like there could be some type of loss that you guys may experience here, Leo. Mm -hmm. And it could be marriage. It could be other things as well. Yeah, because I'm seeing here divorce, breakup. Yeah, especially in the love relationship. It could be loss of other kinds too, um, but I'm seeing just in general, just in general, that could be a reason why some of you are going to be frustrated and scattered and a little fragmented uh, because there are some burdens that you may have to face or, you know, things that you have to deal with, but you will be fine at the end. Let's go ahead. Let's get the lover's card here for Leo. Lover's card. In the future, there is going to be a long term. Right now, you are walking away from a love connection. For some of you, there has to be a readjustment in the way you approach love. I mean, I'm going to be honest. You know, you and this person, whoever you've been dealing with, this has been a back and forth thing for some of you. But I mean, again, you're not getting a partnership that you want from this person. You're not getting the type of love that you want. So the two of wands is letting me know that you guys are going to walk away. That's what I'm saying. It's too just dead in. It's frustrating. Um, yeah. And you're going to end up single here with the nine of pentacles. Okay. You're, going, you're just going to get your freedom. Okay. Maybe a tough decision, but I do see that you're going to make a decision to walk away from something that's just not fulfilling for you. Let's go ahead. Let's get your card here. I want to get a card for you guys. Your message of the day. This is going to be for Leo. Your message for Leo. Thank you. So for Leo here, it is the Knight of Swords. This is very interesting. Be careful. Be cautious. I like the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck because whoever's coming in here can take away your peace <laughs> or, you know, move too quickly and start distracting you. Let's see what the Seven of Swords say at the bottom. Caution will help you avoid loss of valuables, including non-material resources, sources, which is time and energy. Be very cautious about who you talk to and who you're around. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So there is some energy that some people may be doing some things behind your back. All right. But you got to be aware of it and do things to combat that. Now, here with the Prince of the, the Knight of Swords, it says... Get ready for pro progress. Okay, so this is good. So progression is coming. This situation re requires logic over emotion. So for some of you, you got some decisions to make, and it's going to be more so on a logical basis instead of your emotions. What's going to be best for you? Okay, so this is what I have for you here, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.